Hey everybody, welcome to Nation. My name is Jersey, and you are here. What's going on? Uh, if it's your first time checking us out, what's going on? Thanks a lot. Hopefully you enjoy the show at least more than uh, watching cat videos online. And you want to watch other episodes because we've got a ton of them. It is a weekly podcast, and we're on episode like 59. So you got lots to catch up on. It's a 30-minute podcast. It comes out every single Friday. So make sure you tune in. Um, If you are one of the cool kids, you're somebody who watches this uh, every single week, comments, thumbs up, all that fun stuff, it is because of you that I get to do the show. So I just want to reach out and say thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you're watching this on YouTube and you haven't given it a thumbs up yet, I'll let you do it right now in three, two, one, thumbs up. Awesome. Cool. I I really appreciate it. Uh, If you share the content, if you like it, and most importantly, if you comment, love the back and forth. And if you're listening to this on iTunes or Google Play, SoundCloud, any of those other platforms, uh, I love it that you guys do. I love reviews. So certainly go out there, share the content, and hopefully you get a thing or two out of it. Now, if you are the elite of the elite, if you are one of the elite cool kids, and you buy your supplies through me, What's going on? Like virtual high five to you. It's because of you that I get to have actual frosted flakes, not the fake ones that are on the bottom shelf of the bag. So thank you very much for allowing me to do that. I really do appreciate it. And if you want to buy your supplies for window cleaning or pressure washing, water fed, any of that stuff through me, I would be uh, eternally grateful. My number is 862-312-2026. You can go ahead and text that number, but save it. That is my direct number. That's my cell phone. So text me and just say, what's up? Tell me, hey, everything's in my cart, and I want you to put the order in for me. That's awesome. Awesome. Makes my week when I have that happen, so please do. I definitely appreciate that. If you've got any questions, too, call me. Anyway, products, there you go. So this week's winner from our contest that we do every single week is Twisted702. So you are the winner of a $50 swag bag and uh, a $50 credit and a swag bag. So congratulations. Just email me your information, josh at window cleaning resource. And if you want to win every single week, we do a contest. We give away things every single week. All you need to do is go ahead and comment down below anything you want. I like turtles. Your show sucks. Why is your nose crooked? Whatever you want, do it down below and you're entered in uh, randomly. We pick a winner every single week. So there you go. That is that. A couple of shout-outs I want to give uh, to the cool kids, the elites, some of the uh, awesome people that I deal with is Maxwell Myers. What's going on? Dan Downey. What up, yo? Uh, Eric Thompson. Uh, I'm sorry, Eric Thompson. Uh, and Carlos, the man. What's going on? Uh, thank you, everybody else uh, who has uh, contributed and orders for me, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, huge convention. We talk about this every single week, and it's coming up. I'm super, 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 super excited. And if you haven't gotten your tickets yet, please go do that right now. Go to thehugeconvention.com. Get your tickets for the love of Pete, and uh, go to the show. It's going to be epic. It's amazing. It's going to be huge, huge. If you're in New Jersey or uh, New York, you just kind of drop the H. It's going to be awesome, though. Definitely check it out. There's going to be like a 1,000 contractors there. This is not a free event where lots of people say they're going to show up. This is an event. It is a paid event. Obviously, you have to buy tickets for it. But the type of people that are there, amazing. The networking, amazing. The classes, amazing. The speakers are awesome. And if you are uh, looking for software, the day before the 22nd is actually going to be the Service Software Summit put on by Kurt Kempton, the one and only. So if you want, buy tickets to that, get tickets to the huge convention, do it all, learn a whole bunch and get super motivated to get out of summer and into fall uh, super motivated. So go do that. I want to give you all high fives and say what's up there. Anyway, there it is. It's in Atlanta this year, if you didn't know. If you're not listening to me say this every single week, I don't know what you're doing, but there it is. It is at the Marquette, uh, the Marriott Marquis in Georgia. Okay, I gotta get through all that crap first. You guys know, I'm sorry. Like every week, somebody goes, you talk too long in the beginning. Oh well, deal with it. I talk long sometimes. <laughs> anyway, okay, so this week we are talking about summer sucks. That's the topic, and it does. As window cleaners, 
and pressure washers were seasonal. Winter blows even harder, right? But summer sucks for a couple, a couple reasons, a couple uh, uh, things we should be used to that we're not. And a lot of times in the forums, in the groups, in the Facebook pages, you see a lot of questions coming up right now about summer. Now, if you're watching this episode and it's winter, this was recorded in the summer, so just remember this for next year, okay? But summer itself kind of sucks. And here's the one thing. I'm going to start this off with something that is common sense, something that should not be said, but I want to talk about hydration, like just being prepared for the heat. I had a heat stroke or whatever you call it one time. I was up in a lift. I'm back to the sun. Sun's reflecting off and I just like wobbled over. It sucked. It was awful. We had to drop the lift. I had to go to the back of the building, try to drink some sodas and like get back with it, guzzle a bunch of water. It was, it was awful. So don't be dumb like me and uh, hydrate. Now, all day long, you know you're sweating in the summer. If you are even doing work this time of year, I know it slows down. But so should you. You should work a little slower. You got to take more breaks. You got to stay hydrated because if not, you could really, really hurt yourself. So it should go without saying, but, but definitely do that. Take breaks. Don't be ashamed to take breaks and drink all the water you can until your stomach is full. Do it. Okay, so that all being said, summer itself really does suck. Why? Because this time of year, we're all hoping that the phone rings just like it did in spring. Spring happens, the light switch goes on, and we go crazy with business. We can't keep up. If things are good, we got more money, we have room in our pockets, right? Then summer comes along, and we don't know when summer actually hits. Not calandrical summer, but the summer where things just go down, right? Kids are off school. Um, vacations start. People are planning to go back, and a lot of the summer vacations, people spend a lot of money. They don't want to spend money on window cleaning, and it's the dog days, right? So dusty, oh, my windows are just going to get dusty anyway. You know, they're gone. They're not thinking about it. There's lots of reasons why summer sucks. But the first thing you want to do is try to make the phone ring. And it's just not going to happen. I'm telling you right now. If you think I'm wrong in anything I ever say, which I probably am, just a guy that happens to have a mic, tell me in comments on YouTube. I always love to kind of interact and see what you guys have to say. But there's nothing that you can do this time of year to make the phone ring. People want to do like crazy specials and they want to advertise and do flyers. and Oh man, it's slow. I need to go advertise. Don't. Don't advertise. We talked about this last year. Advertising this time of year is a waste of money. It's a waste of money. It really, truly is. The phone is not going to ring because people just don't have it in their minds. It is only. Marketing itself is just a reminder for people who already are thinking of the service. And if nobody's thinking of the service, they're not going to hire you. So why waste thousands of dollars sending EDDM and door hangers and just trying to drum up business when you can't. And here's what we talked about in spring, which it's going to come up for fall also. But if it's busy and the phone is ringing off the hook, that's the time to advertise because people have it in their brain. If your phone's not ringing, which none of our phones are, then it's not in their brain. You just can't force somebody to want something when they don't want it like you can advertise the most delicious cheeseburger and if you're not hungry you're not going to go buy it right you have to go when you're hungry it's the same thing with windows so don't go out there and try to reinvent the wheel and try to advertise when it's not going to happen so there are things you can do in the summer that are productive advertising is not one of them don't do it if, if i'm wrong tell me what you've done and what works if you want to advertise via craigslist or some of these other free sites or, uh, you know, the Home Advisor and uh, not Service Magic anymore, the Home Advisor, Thumbtack, all that stuff. You can certainly do that because those are kind of uh, free until you get the leads. If nothing happens and you don't pay anything, right? But don't go out there and do the pay first marketing. It just doesn't make sense. I'm not going to get into the whole, um, you know, uh, Service uh, Home Advisor or Thumbtack. I'm not going to get into that. I'm not going to get into the Groupons and things like that because you guys have your opinions. I get that. But sometimes that kind of stuff works. If you're new, 
put something out there. It's going to help you kind of drum up some business and hopefully get a few customers to stick around. If it's summer and nothing else is working, maybe that's something to do. But either way, save your money. Don't advertise this time of year. But other than the phone ringing, what you can do, and it's super, super valuable for your business, is planning for fall. As we know, you've seen the graphs, you know it from your business. If you're brand new to business, first off, welcome to the industry. But second off, fall is your second best time of year, always. Obviously, spring is first, fall is second. I've heard people say fall is their number one. I've never had that in my business. It's always been spring by not huge margins, but it's always been spring. But fall is huge for drumming up business and getting that kind of boost before winter. Winter sucks. Worse than summer. It goes spring, fall, summer, and then winter. Those are the categories and kind of the awesome to suck. And uh, even if you're in California and things, you still have seasons. Even if the weather is always the same temperature, which some of you lucky SOBs have. But you know it. It still slows down. So the things that you can do in summer to kind of be productive and make time, other than going on vacation and everything else, get that out of the way, is planning for fall. Now, fall itself is coming up quick. Just like spring, when it happens, it's a light switch. We don't know what really turns people on. I mean, it's your phone will literally not ring one day. The next day, you'll get 30 calls. There's no rhyme or reason. It's not like the weather is that much different over one day. It just gets into people's head for some reason. So preparing yourself to advertise, be prepared to flyer, or door hang, or all that stuff that needs to happen as soon as the light switch goes, that's what you do now. That's super, super productive. Getting everything in a row, like your ducks in a row now. What am I talking about? You know when the light switch happens, what triggers people. In your area, maybe it's EDDM, right? Get everything printed now. Work on the templates. If you're a WCRA or PWRA member, get those templates and edit them. Get them ready. Get them out to print. Get stuff ready with expirations if you have them. Get them all printed, batched up and ready so that when the phone does start ringing, when that light switch is flicked, two days from then, you can go to the post office with a batch of stuff and you can help that fall because here's the thing like i said when it's in people's brains all they need is the push or the reminder a lot of things going on especially back to school and all that if you remind them when they are thinking about it man oh man that's the time you advertise when people are thinking about it you advertise a cheeseburger when somebody's hungry best time of day to advertise your cheeseburger on the radio is noon think about it right Same exact thing. Getting all that ready takes time. Don't go, well, I'll do that uh, Tuesday in uh, September. It takes time. It has to be done now. There's lots of different things. If you're doing your own website and SEO work, you can always, always be doing that and getting that ready, hopefully doing some more ranking, kind of helping get that back up and uh, helping it get ready for fall. But print, get your print done. Get your advertising changes done, new pictures, new everything, because your website traffic, if you watch your analytics, is going to go through the roof. So why not prep it, make it sexy, make it look good, and make it ready for when people want to jump on. Uh, A few other things that you might do. Now, if you're a flyer person, instead of an EDDM, maybe you want to get some flyers done. Maybe you want to piggyback it. I've done split testing on expensive looking nice wcra you know gloss 14 point like just really nice postcards versus uh, a yellow sheet of paper a black printing which technically costs more when you go to your local guy and say i need 100 copies of this it costs more but people assume it costs less you have a great return on the crappy flyer just like you have a great return on the good flyer because different people see it. If they see a flyer come across, it's super nice, glossy, thick. They go, wow, these guys got to be expensive. They just assume it's expensive. They also can assume that your company is totally legit. So don't don't knock that side of it. But for those other people who want that guy and just look like, oh, this guy's just trying to get, you may be the most professional company around, but if you have a yellow flyer with black printing which doesn't cost much what is it five cents a copy say and you do a hundred of them that's not a lot of money so get a bunch of flyers and pass them out also but that takes time you got to be ready to get those flyers kind of out there 
door hangers for your five up and five down. Always get those ready because when you start going into fall, you're going to be using up a ton of those. Same thing with business cards and proposals and everything else. If you are still doing paper proposals, you need to get all that stuff ready because when fall comes, you have to be prepped and now is the time that you can do that. So get all that print media done. Get your website up. Get your business cards. Just get everything ready and prepared. The other big thing when it comes to marketing, and we've talked about it before, is your marketing calendar. Now, if you don't have a marketing calendar, you are losing a ton of efficiency. A ton. You have to have a marketing calendar. A marketing calendar is just this, right? You could be as simple as one day a week. Try to do five days a week. But you like Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we'll say. Craigslist ad goes up. Uh, you know, Tuesday, Thursday, this happens. You know, uh, the second Monday of the month, this happens. Like, have it all in a calendar and get it ready because guess what? When fall comes, the light switch goes. If you are not out in the field, you're going to be scrambling, doing everything else. You have to have those steps already in place so that everything goes out on time. And you get the best bang for your buck. If you're going to do mailers or you're going to advertise, you are literally literally two to four weeks away from a potential light switch happening uh you know august is is a hot you know august is a little bit rough say you get into september now all of a sudden depending on where the weather is we've all had a wet late spring and we have had a really hot summer all across the country so what's going to happen in fall trends happen you have to be ready for it do your marketing calendar and put all that stuff in there if you haven't done the flyers try it. Like I said, print a hundred copies and get that ready. Get it ready to go out. You're, you're going to, you're going to thank me. That fall planning on that, um, marketing calendar is completely necessary. Do it, put it out there. You can go and do an entire year at one time and base it off of when the triggers happen. So if a month happens where you're going to start that month after the trigger, you know, after your first light switch, all those do are those float. So say it's not a specific date, like the third, it's the first Monday. So when that light switch happens, you go, oh my gosh, man, we have been slammed today. Guess what? It's time to get the calendar out, pull it out. What's going to happen on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday for the next month. And it's going to help you kind of just ease things up and just advertise when people are hungry. So print everything you need. Get that marketing calendar ready. Just get everything kind of organized on the marketing side of it and ready just to throw out there when the time comes. Um, Another thing that people always think about when it's busy but not when it's slow is fixing and upgrading your equipment. Now, here's the part. This is always hard for me. Listen, I am a sales rep for Window Cleaning Resource. As a lot of you know, I'm hands off of my business itself. It's in the process of being you know, sold, so I don't have the day-to-day I do a meeting, but sales is what I do. So when I talk about this kind of thing, people always go, oh, here's a sales pitch, but it's not. Listen, I've owned a business for 13 years. This is literally what I've done for those, that amount of time. I haven't been in business for as long as some of you guys have. I know that. I'm just a guy with a mic, like I said. I don't know everything. You can't do anything wrong in your business, but here's what I do. Every fall and winter, I, or I'm sorry, every summer and winter, what I get ready for is fall and spring. And how I do that is all that money, that cash rich from spring, I want to reinvest what I'm going to reinvest into my company in summer. Why? I can get all the equipment ready so that when the light switch happens, I have everything brand new. At WCR right now, we're going just gangbusters with the pure water systems and poles and brushes and all the new stuff that's come out and all the, the the just equipment that people want is right now is a big time for us. Why? Because people are prepping for that fall. So if you had anything in there, you want to get into water fit or whatever, now's the time. You have time to do the research. Call me. I always tell people all the time. You want to know about water fit? People post it on Pro Window Cleaning all the time in the Facebook groups. I want to know about water fit. Tell me stuff. Call me. Uh, PM me, go on Facebook. I'm in every group. Uh, I'll even tell you my Facebook uh, thing. I have it written down. It is, uh, what the heck is it? Anyway, it's Josh. There it is. It's facebook.com slash josh.cronin, C-R-O-N-I-N dot five, six. That's my Facebook. Find it. PM me 
or text me. Text me, 862-312-2026. If there's any bit of equipment that's out there that's new, that you have questions on, if you don't know about water fed, but you want to kind of get into it for fall, let me know. That's what we're here for. Do your research and look at the equipment that can be purchased. Now, it doesn't have to be big. Maybe it's new rubber because you're running low. Maybe it's bronze wool instead of steel wool. It doesn't have to be a pure water system. It doesn't have to be the new Unger N-Lite with you know, uh, Hydrocard Electric, which is my favorite setup. It doesn't have to be that, right? But it can be. If that's where you are in your business and your reinvestment, do it. Now is the time to do it because you'll get the equipment and get to play with it before everything goes crazy. Also, build times. You can deal with build times right now of like a week. That's not going to hurt you. But if you call or order equipment in a month from now, when everybody does want to be busy and ordering stuff, then there could be build times, there could be waits, there could be back orders, whatever. So now's the time to upgrade and improve your equipment. So you guys, just just invest in yourself. That's that's a big, big part of kind of all of this. The, the last kind of big thing that I always tell people when they say, well, how am I going to make the phone ring? You're not. But what you are going to do is make the phone ring twice as hard in fall because you're going to go on Facebook groups, Pro Window Cleaning, Pressure Washing Resource, Water Fed, all those groups. Search the Window Cleaning Pressure Washing on Facebook. Do it. It's amazing. Subscribe or follow those uh, groups, and I'm telling you, you're going to learn a ton. You're also going to deal with a bunch of like trolls. It, it just is what it is. Just don't deal with it. Actually, if you're listening to this right now, you're going to know next week's show is actually, it's called F the Haters. And that's all about that kind of stuff. So tune in, whatever, cool. But go out there and check it out. You got to go Facebook, uh, learn it. Like, nerd out, man. Now's the time. You got the time. Watch videos. Go on YouTube. Watch Nations. Listen to Nations while you work. Check out all the other podcasts, you know, Luke doing the clean, all those other guys, Tradman and, and uh, Steve-O and Fluff and all those guys. Check them out. Watch everything. Learn everything you can so that you can hit it harder. Also, windowcleaner.com, the community. That is the forum. Go there and read everything, search everything, talk to people. And uh, if you have questions, get them answered because you're going to be ready for winter one way or another. And... That's kind of one of the ways. Be knowledgeable. Being knowledgeable in your business is going to help you when fall comes. Like I said, there's just no way to make that phone ring. You have to be knowledgeable and ready so when it does come, that's what you can do is go and do that. And the last kind of uh, bit that I want to talk about is networking. That's why we have the huge convention this time of year because you can go out and... Um, network and learn and and grow your business and getting it ready the other thing it does is it energizes you it gets you ready to get into the fall season fall's coming it's it's like you know what is it uh, uh you know winter is coming game of thrones oh my gosh game of thrones it's it's late here right now so i'm not on my a game game of thrones winter is coming well fall is coming and fall is going to be huge for us. Huge. One other thing, when you're putting things together, I just want to put kind of a little bit of a shout out, if you will. But Chris Cartwright, he runs 462 Concepts. That is the ultimate kind of uh, company for SEO work, website building, all that stuff. This is not a plug. I've known Chris for a really, really long time. I know a lot of you have met him. He's a super good dude. But what it is even better than how good of a dude he is, is how good he is at his job. He's always booked out. He's doesn't usually take on clients, but somebody like that, search it out. I'm telling you right now, that is going to plan for fall. And it's going to be huge, man. Same thing with uh, equipment that I didn't touch on is your filters and all that type of stuff. Dispendables, uh, razors, filters, rubber, all that stuff. Just get it, be ready. It comes fast, so you got to be ready. But either way, I, I want to jump off topic. That's our show kind of for this week. If you're still listening, you know every single week I give a code at the end of the show. If you don't know that and this is your first time you made it to the end of a show, I'm sorry I suck. But our code this week 
is summer sucks. Now, what does that mean? You have to call me if you're putting an order in, if you're reinvesting in yourself, call me or shoot me a text, even better, 862-312-2026. If you say anywhere in the message, summer sucks or anything, that's your secret code because you're one of the elite that you're going to get 5% off the order. So do that. Let me know. Listen, guys, too, the trade show is coming up. If you're looking for any type of supplies and you're there in Atlanta, you're at the trade show, buy it. I'm going to be there at the show. Buy it from me. Buy it, whatever. If you're planning on it, guys will bring their list there and they do it. You know we have show specials, so definitely check that out. And the uh, free shipping right now is still going on over $4.99. So there you go. Super duper sales plugs. Either way, check it out. Most importantly, share this content. Give it a thumbs up if you haven't on YouTube. And uh, thanks for watching. And until next week, go out there, be ready for fall, but more importantly, be epic.